Okay. Tomotherapy is a revolutionary way of uh, delivering radiation to treat cancers. Uh, it uses intensely modulated radiation therapy and thereby it is uh, different from conventional radiation. And this system actually allows you to locate the tumour which is deep-seated within a patient uh, using a CT scan before each day's treatment. This therefore allows for accurate uh, positioning and then subsequently uh, when that is ascertained you then deliver uh, radiation into the target precisely. This therefore then allows for confidence in delivering high dose into tumour and also reducing the dose to its neighbouring normal uh, tissues. In conventional treatment, you usually would employ a few uh, beams of radiation coming in from a few limited angles uh, because of the uh, uh, time, consuming time in planning when you employ too many uh, treatment uh, fields. At the same time, that will increase setup time. Whereas in tomotherapy, there is an unlimited option of um, uh, beams uh, direction. You can actually deliver technically from 360 degrees uh, and this therefore allow unlimited options in shaping the uh, radiation to conform to the irregular target where the tumour is. In intensely modulated radiation therapy, you are able to vary the radiation uh, in different parts of the uh, body and so even if there are sensitive structures next to the tumour itself you potentially can lower the dose to the uh, normal tissues uh, without compromising on delivering a good optimum dose to the tumour and in that way we actually make radiation more effective in terms of tumour control and at the same time safer in terms of cutting down on the side effects. Okay, I think it's not just in terms of uh, patient uh, where they reap the benefits of this treatment. Uh, it also uh, makes uh, delivery of the radiation uh, safer in terms of uh, cutting down errors uh, as well. Let me uh, elaborate. First, with respect to the system itself, you actually have a facility within this equipment to perform a CT scan and that will allow us to locate the tumour, uh, compare the uh, position uh, in each day's treatment. There is a computer and it's integrated software for complex planning and this all within the same system then cuts down the transfer of uh, data from one station to the machine and then the carrying out of treatment. Therefore, that actually cuts down on uh, the possibility of uh, errors. Now, it is a complex system and therefore, you find that uh, in terms of uh, the planning uh, in this integrated system, the treatment uh, planning time actually is reduced uh, compared to some of the uh, other uh, vendors' uh, equipment in terms of doing IMRT. And therefore, actually, we can uh, reduce the amount of uh, uh, staff time for, for treatment planning. Now, I would not recommend tomotherapy for every uh, tumour that is to be treated with radiation. We would judge whether a simple method such as conventional radiotherapy would suffice. If it was in an area where complex treatment planning is required, if it is an area where uh, imaging to ascertain that you are accurate in delivering the radiation to take into account uh, its patient's organ movement, for example, in the lung, uh, a prostate, for example, where it may vary according to bladder feeling and rectal uh, fecal feeling. These are tumours that in locations which would benefit from tomotherapy because you can ascertain that they are in the right position each day before you deliver the radiation. So good examples for treatment using tomotherapy would be in the brain, in the base of skull, uh, head and neck region, lung, pancreas and 
the prostate. Now another group, uh, another group which is very good uh, uh, candidate would be spinal tumors, uh, primary tumors where you have to deliver very high dose and at the same time you want to make sure that the spinal cord itself gets very do low dose. Uh, that is it. And some metastatic, in other words, um, uh, cancers that spread to the spinal bone uh, where it's close to the spinal cord, you may have to employ it, especially in cases where we may have to retreat them. Some patients had already have uh, radiation to the vertebra and therefore the spinal cord would have been compromised. And in some of these patients, they would benefit from getting radiation a second time without uh, over-treating the spinal cord.